Hello. In this video, we are going to determine how many neighbors a particular hydrogen signal has in NMR, since this leads to the phenomenon of coupling. In methanol, the three red hydrogens are symmetry equivalent, and symmetry equivalent hydrogens do not couple. They do not act as neighbors. There is a single hydroxyl hydrogen, but because of exchange, this hydrogen does not couple with the other hydrogens in the sample. Therefore, not only do we have a 3 to 1 intensity ratio for the two hydrogen signals, neither one of the signals is going to be split because there is no coupling by neighbors. In ethanol, recall that we have three different types of hydrogens and their ratios are in three to two to one, as in black to red to yellow. The three black methyl hydrogens have the two red hydrogens circled as their neighbors. Therefore, the signal for the black hydrogens will be split into three because we get n plus one peaks, where n is the number of neighbors, two neighbors leading to a triplet. The two red hydrogens have the three black hydrogens, again circled to show the neighbors, as their neighbors. Therefore, the signal for the red hydrogen will be split into a quartet, into four subpeaks. The hydroxyl hydrogen does not count as a neighbor because it is an alcohol. And because of exchange, it does not couple to its neighbors. One propanol has four distinct types of hydrogens, here shown in green, black, red, and yellow, with intensity ratios of 3 to 2 to 2 to 1. For the three methyl green hydrogens, can you find their neighbor? Sure you can. The three green methyl hydrogens have two neighbors, shown circled, the two black hydrogens. Therefore, the signal for the methyl green hydrogens will be split into a triplet because there are two neighbors. As for the neighbors of the two black hydrogens, the neighbors are all circled. It has the three green methyl hydrogens to the left as neighbors and the two red methylene hydrogens in red to the right. Notice that the neighbors do not have to be all of one type. Here there are two different types, green and red, but they are all neighbors of the black hydrogens and therefore the signal will be split into a sextet. It will be split into six uh, subpeaks because the hydrogen signal has five neighbors.
for the two red hydrogens, they have two neighbors shown circled, the two black hydrogens shown to the left. Each of those is within three bonds of the hydrogens that were interested, the red hydrogens. The yellow hydrogen, the hydroxyl hydrogen, is also within the same distance, but it doesn't count because of exchange. So therefore, it doesn't couple, and we see a signal that is split as a triplet. Two propanol has three types of hydrogens, shown here in green, red, and yellow, in ratios of six to one to one. The six green methyl hydrogens, which are all symmetrically equivalent, have just one neighbor, again, shown circled in black, the red hydrogen. Therefore, the signal for the six green hydrogens will be split into a doublet, showing that it ha they have one neighbor. The red hydrogen has six neighbors, all of the green methyl hydrogens, but not, as we recall, the hydroxyl hydrogen shown in yellow. Therefore, this sign signal will be split into seven subpeaks, showing that it has six neighbors. One butanol has five distinct hydrogen signals with intensities in the ratios of three to two to two to two to one, as shown in this diagram. The three blue methyl hydrogens have two neighbors circled, therefore the signal will be a triplet. The green hydrogens have five neighbors shown circled, three blue methyls and two black methylenes, again showing that the neighbors do not have to all be of one type. Since this signal has five neighbors, it will be split into a sextet, six subpeaks. The two black hydrogens have four neighbors circled in black, the two green hydrogens to the left, and the two red hydrogens to the right, again showing that the neighbors can be of different types. Because the black hydrogens have four neighbors, the signal will be a quintet. It will be split into five subpeaks. The two red hydrogens have two neighbors shown circled, the black hydrogen to the left. The yellow hydrogen to the right does not count as a neighbor because it is a hydroxyl hydrogen which exchanges so it does not couple. Since the red hydrogens have two neighbors, this signal will be split into a triplet, three subpeaks. Two butanol has five distinct hydrogen signals because of five different types of hydrogens in ratios of three to three to two to one to one, as shown in the diagram. The three blue methyl hydrogens have two neighbors, shown circled, the black hydrogens, because they have two neighbors the signal is going to be split into a triplet. The 
the three green methyl hydrogens on the first carbon have just one neighbor circled uh, the red hydrogen that's attached to the alpha carbon in this case. Therefore, since it has just one neighbor, the signal will be split into a doublet, into two subpeaks. The two black methylene hydrogens have four neighbors, the three blue hydrogens to the left that are circled, and the one red hydrogen to the right that is circled. Notice again that the neighbors are not of the exact same type. Since these hydrogens have four neighbors, their signal will be split into a quintet into five subpeaks. The red hydrogen also has five neighbors, three methyl hydrogens to the right and two methylene hydrogens in black to the left. Because it has five neighbors, its signal will be split into six subpeaks, what we call a sextet. Again, recall that the hydroxyl hydrogen in yellow does not count as a neighbor. Our final example in this video is 2-pentanol, a complicated alcohol with six different types of hydrogens in the ratios of 3 to 3 to 2 to 2 to 1 to 1, as shown in the diagram. The three gray methyl hydrogens at the far left have two neighbors shown circled the blue hydrogens. Because the gray hydrogens have two neighbors, its signal will be split into a triplet into three subpeaks. The three green methyls on the first carbon to the right have only one neighbor shown circled the red hydrogen. Because the green hydrogens have just one neighbor, their signal will be split into two into a doublet. The two blue methylene hydrogens have five neighbors shown circled. The three gray methyl hydrogens to the left of them and the two black methylene hydrogens to the right. Since the blue hydrogens have five neighbors, the signal will be split into a sextet, six subpeaks. The two black methylene hydrogens in the center of the molecule have three neighbors, two blue hydrogens to the left, that are circled, and the one red hydrogen to the right that is circled. Since these hydrogens have three neighbors, their signal will be split into a quartet into four subpeaks, showing that it has three neighbors. The red hydrogen attached to the alpha carbon, the same carbon that holds the hydroxyl group, has five neighbors three green methyl hydrogens to the right, and two black methylene hydrogens to the left. Because there are five neighbors, the signal of the red hydrogen will be split into a sextet into six subpeaks. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.